Hello, in this video we're going to look at the concept of the age earnings profile. We're going to learn how to graph it and find the peak earnings from a regression equation. Let's consider the following estimated regression equation based on cross-sectional data on individuals. Here's our regression results. The dependent variable, left-hand side variable, is a natural log of the hourly wage and is going to be a function of a person's years of schooling, education, and the person's age. And age here is entered as a quadratic to capture nonlinearities between wage and a person's age. To find where the age earnings profile reaches a maximum, we're going to take the partial derivative of the regression equation with respect to age. We're going to set the result equal to zero and solve for age. The intuition behind this is as follows. The age earnings profile is shaped like a hill. We want to find the top of the hill. This is where earnings are at their highest. The slope at the top of the hill is zero. Recall a tangent line at this point is going to be horizontal, and the slope of a horizontal line is zero. So that is why we set the partial derivative, and the partial derivative, or the derivative in general, is just a slope function, in this case giving us the slope of this hill. And so we're going to set that derivative equal to zero. Uh, note that the age that maximizes the natural log of the hourly wage is going to be the same age that maximizes the wage. So here's our regression equation. So taking the partial derivative of the natural log with respect to age, here the derivative of this intercept term is zero, the derivative of 0 0.1 education. Education is treated as a constant, so that drops out, becomes zero and the derivative of 0 0.066 age is just 0 0.66 and the derivative of this last term this exponent comes down in front and going to be multiplied through and then we're going to subtract one from that exponent and again setting that derivative equal to zero trying to find where the we're at the top of the hill where the slope is zero so simplifying a little bit and dividing through by 0 0.0014 the age in which earnings are maximized is 47 years. So 47 years old is where peak earnings occur. And now we're going to graph the age earnings profile for a person with 16 years of schooling. I could have picked any level of schooling. 16 is what I chose. So we're going to set the education variable in our regression equal to 16. So instead of 0 0.1 times education, we set it to 16. And we're going to simplify this a little bit here. 0.1 times 16 is 1.6. And 1.6 then minus 0 0.092 gives us this 1.508. Note when uh, earnings are maximized, that occurs at 47 years of age. So let's just see what that is. So plugging 47 into this regression equation, simplifying the natural log here at 47 years of age, the natural log of the hourly wage is 3.0637. If we were to exponentiate that, we get $21.41. And now let's calculate a graph here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this equation again, which sets education equal to 16, and I'm going to plug in various ages calculating the corresponding natural log of the hourly wage and then exponentiating that middle column and now we're ready to graph our results we have the age down below here on the horizontal axis we have the hourly wage after exponentiating the natural log of the hourly wage we get the hourly wage and we have the graph here so I did a few key points again when someone is 47 years old that's where we found the peak earnings we're at the top of the hill and that occurs at $21.41 okay I'll stop here